Hello, it's been a while. I have been up to so much. <laughs> uh, I'm at my new uh, co-working space, which is right on uh, the River Spring, as you can see here. And yeah, I'm gonna be actually really honest here. And I think this is part of the high sensation seeking. I assigned myself the tasks of uh, or task of completing on on six or seven videos um, for transmuting the shadow aspect of the of, of the high high sensory trait and the high sensation seeking trait and actually it's it's I found it very constricting um, I really I really haven't in um, I've sort of it's like a been a, I've sort of made a self uh, uh, a noose around my own neck um, and I think there's that kind of feeling of, of, of not ugh, like freedom is one of my biggest values and um, it felt like I uh, was the maker in my own kind of like trap in a way um, but nevertheless I am I'm still I'm still going ahead with it. I just thought I'd I thought I'd articulate that. Um, so in uh, in the second video um, that I've done, I talked a little bit about self care and uh, and the difference between self care and self love, and how um, for me it's a, it's about self love. Um, and I might be splitting hairs here and uh, it's at the end of the day it's semantics but for me this is just this is so more than than putting essential oils in a bath and going for a walk in nature but I'm going to talk about that um, in, a, in a little bit um, but yes I really have been on quite an experience um, since I last well being in Berlin has just been absolutely a profound experience Plus, I've been working very, very closely with my coach and um, my healer. And um, this is the thing about uh, going just for a walk in nature. It's 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 kind of pointless, um, uh, or having or, or or drawing yourself a bath is kind of it's nice. But if you're not doing the inner work, then it, it's sort of it. it, it it's sort of spiritually bypassing and um, that's the absolute opposite of what I do and I really I, I believe that people who have the high sensation seeking and the high sensory trait are with me on this like we don't we don't screw around and um, we work at a profound level so um, yes so going back to this self-love you know it's 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 I have been through quite a tricky time um, and I have learned so so much in the process and what came to me was this um, I'm living with somebody who comes from Bangalore and uh, he chants and um, beautiful voice and he's just had such a positive influence on me and um, so even with, even when and especially when i was feeling really shitty i um i used to chant now the the the, the, the thing about feeling shitty is that i i want to do it less i want to chant less or meditate yet less i think that's just part of the human nature but nevertheless i have a routine which i've now stuck to and i've started chanting sanskrit and um and and then from that and i've been working through the chakras so i'm doing a root chakra um, and a sacral chakra um, chanting and also this other beautiful ch anyway it's um and apparently it gets right to the to, to the the absolute source of um the essence and i don't really you know the essence of what because it's talking on a very very profound level but nevertheless it feels pretty amazing so that really helped me actually really really helped me um and 
but what I've also noticed is I don't like being con constricted to a routine. So I like a routine, but I like I like to be able to choose when I do it and also to kind of be able to kind of cherry pick. Again, it's this high sensation seeking, which doesn't like to be bound by a structure. It's if I feel, I feel I, this, 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 this some freedom needs to be within, within a structure. Um, going back to this, uh, this self-love and the fact that it's, it's way, for, for people who are, who have this high sensory gift, it's way more than just a, a luxury. It is, it isn't an, it isn't medical necessity. Um, because as children, we were, we were not, the chances of you being, um, uh, of your sensitivity uh, being seen as a gift and not as a hindrance was um, very, very small. Certainly in my, in, in my experience, it was seen as something to somehow get over or ignore. It wasn't even acknowledged, to be honest. Um, it certainly wasn't safe to, to feel vulnerable. So, um, and the thing about the people with, with, with us who are high sensation seeking on top of that, everything's intensified, right? So if we, we are, we have this kind of ferocious curiosity and this ferocious intensity about us. So, um, when, when it comes to, um, if we're feeling off kilter, or we're not we're not feeling aligned because as HSPs we have this very like very sophisticated processing mechanism for HSSs on top of that whatever whatever we're um oh I've just got to <laughs> it's obviously this intensity with that with that was um whatever we're experiencing as high high sen high highly sensitive people as high sensation seekers processing we process everything but on a ferocious more intense level so when we're out of kilter we're getting mirrored back to us this kind of um a reality which is not based on reality and it's an, it's absolutely hell on earth um so what i'm saying is is that people who have high sensation seeking as well as the high highly sensitive trait it's it's even more important for us to 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 follow um a life of self-love because at the end of the day it's a choice do i identify with the false self or do i identify with this true knowing um my true self and knowing the um the true identity of who i am so yeah and actually i have a confession i have actually started tree hugging so this walk in nature has finally got me um and it's because i'm doing uh the uh i've been doing a lot of work transmuting the shadow aspect of the high sensory um, trait and really seeing her and her gifts hugely profound gifts just this she's kind of no messing and at the same time there's this vulnerability and it's just beautiful and with all of this I have a greater capacity to absorb um, and let love and joy in and with this, I've just had this pull and this yearning to be in nature to the point where I've been hugging trees. I actually have turned into a tree hugger. I've done it four times now. And um, yeah, it's, I think I'm gonna make a video about that. Um, so yes, self-love, it's a choice. And uh, it's a choice. I hope you have a lovely day.